Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Do you need a brain? Let us continue on for last set off. So, Sweden has capitulated. It's fantastic news, but now we're in a situation where, you know, what is our next step? Because it can be very difficult. Uh, I, I don't really think we can break our way into Finland. Definitely cannot break our way into Norway either. So we are just kind of in a very odd spot. Which I am not a huge fan of. It looks like the French are not going to break anywhere around here. At least not anytime soon. Uh, is this actually going to make you join our faction? It will, thank you. How many men do you have? 11 to 24. It's not a ton, but it's still a decent amount. The United States still has not actually chosen a side in the war. Hopefully they essentially never do. Uh, that'd be the best for us. So Algeria, we're still holding on to, I think, decently enough. And we have our guys ready to go for an invasion of Germany. And like, the question is... You know, can I actually make this work? Because if I can... That'd be fantastic. How many boats do I have right now? 282? We're not getting all the oil we need. In fact, I would probably want to import even more oil. Uh, I'm just not too sure who I would actually get it from at this exact point in time. Uh, can I get the aerial mines quite yet? I can't. 85 days? Seems good to me. And who's attacking me? It's the Germans. Sweden's attacking us as well. I, I, I don't think they'll be able to actually push their way through this... Uh, Straight crossing. It's going to be, I think, almost, almost impossible, I would say. So I know Germany right now is in a situation, but their main power is actually not very high. Only one point, like probably 1.3 man million manpower is really not a lot. I have more than that, and I am Britain. And I'm just trying to look. I'm just trying to think. What can I do? One, I'm going to put some troops over here. What can I do to actually win this war? Russia, I don't know when or if they will ever actually get involved. I mean, I hope that they do, of course. But I just don't know what the likeliness of that actually happening is. Or, like, how long it will take. Because it's going to take a while. There is no question about that. We can upgrade some of these radar stations, so I will definitely do that. Seems an okay place to start. Uh, as soon as the research is done, I definitely want to do some more mine laying as well. Get some carrier fighters. Um, Interwar bombers, tactical bombers. But yeah, let's go for... 500 out of here. Also do some naval bombing in this area as well. Basically, like, I want... What if I combine these fleets? I mean, these guys are pretty high level right now. So if we do, let's say, a... Invasion support... Let's try the naval invasion. Eight marine divisions isn't a ton. I understand that. But if we can get this to work, that seems pretty good. Okay, we did encounter some German troops. We got two divisions over here. Can you push your way into Williamshaven? We're at 90. I don't see any reinforcements coming in right away. Our penalty, you know, only a 19% uh, naval invasion penalty is not too bad. We're at 92. We could maybe actually break it. Which would be fantastic, of course. We'll try to immediately send some divisions over here. Because I think I have like a 21 stack. Yeah, 21 stack is ready to go at a moment's notice. And we're going to immediately land. Half of you guys go here. 
half of you guys go here. Immediately send over the 21 stack. Delete this plan, delete this plan, immediately shift your way over. And now he's got to def defend this territory long enough for our reinforcements to arrive. I don't see you, any of you really doing anything right now. I'm fine I, like with this area being a stalemate. Like, I'm not worried about that. But this front line, like, breaking here might prove to be very useful. They might get the AI to kind of... break a little bit. Italy is having some problems. But to be fair, is there ever a time when you could say Italy is not having problems in Hearts of Iron 4? The answer is I don't really think so. Yes, we're still doing pretty good. A lot of refuel is going to the Navy, but the Navy should be docking soon anyways. Our Marine Divisions are doing fantastic. Keep on pushing your way through. Our reinforcements are about to arrive. Where's the 16 stack? You're the ones defending England. Okay. But even if I can just create a, um, a front line around here. That still seems pretty good. The reinforcements have shown up. Hopefully that's going to take some pressure off of here. I'm going to actually send these guys out of Italy. I don't really care what happens to Italy right now. I don't think it's the most important. You guys are really taking some penalties. You Are you just not getting supplies? Reinforcement block, no supply from capital. So are we having the same problem again? Trade can pass, armies can pass. Xing has been annexed, okay. I don't really know how I can get supplies down to Algeria. Which probably is a problem. But you're still at war with like, Russia, right? Yeah. You're not worth the Yunnan Cleek. Yunnan Cleek is kind of just doing its own thing. Left KMT is also here. I mean, we'll, we'll see what Russia is going to end up doing. A lot of German troops are being deployed to this front line right now, which is uh, a little bit worrying, to say the least. But overall, I think that was a pretty good landing. As long as we can hold this territory, um, I think we only got like one. A one civilian factory and a bunch of naval dockyards. The French are going to throw some troops in here as well, which is quite nice. And will you guys actually break, though? Got a decent amount of defense. We might need to send more troops down here. And Chains cleared war on you. Can I deploy more men? Like, even just like four more divisions? The answer is not really. I don't need more marine divisions. That much is certain. I'm also going to pull you guys up to Germany right now. But you're not getting any reinforcements from capital. Which, again, why has this happened again? Like, this was completely fine until I reloaded the save, and now it's broken. Which is a real shame. We got a few more days till the CSA, or not CSA, the Iberian Federation joins our faction. Like, Italy's definitely having some problems. I think we're winning, like, most of our battles. Okay, we'll fall back a little bit here. Do not attack. You're going to stand still. No, uh, we have an air range and no assigned missions. Probably want to basically send everything over here then. Too 
many planes in this uh, airport. I want to do something like this. That's still too many planes. Okay, so that's numbers looking a little bit better. They still got a lot of enemy fighters, a lot of support planes. It's not surprising. Is there anything else I can put over here? Your tactical bombers, you can definitely reach over here. Like, naval strikes, of course, are still important. What if you were to fly to this port? Come assist over here. Unless my invasion, my, my plan here doesn't actually work at all. And if that's the case, it's going to be a little bit disappointing. Do not attack. You can retreat a little bit. Oh, if you're attacking, you're a moron. Okay, apparently we do have air superiority because we got a lot of fighters in this region. Will you be cut off if you get surrounded in Bremen? I don't think so. It's a bit hard to tell though. There's just a lot of Reich's pack troops around here. Which of course is very dangerous. Do I have any supply lines over here? I do. They're just attacking with so many men. Like just an unbelievable amount. So you're also fighting the fighting government. That's probably good. You guys don't need to be out in the sea anymore, so... Let's hold position. Okay, there we go. So get our fuel supplies back up. Okay, maybe, maybe this landing did not work at all. Do not attack. I'm pressing the H button for you to not do anything. Please just stand still. I really feel like this has actually just gone horribly. Like, really, really badly. Well, Germany's had like 6 million casualties. But I think that, I think there's like a lot of Germany's like puppet states and stuff. They have so many men. Feel the manpower. We're about 10. They still almost double the amount of manpower we have. Which is really bad. Hmm. I mean, is there really anything I can do at this point? Like, we're at war with Greece. We're at war with these guys. Serbia won't be able to help us out in, in any capacity. Spain's going to join us, but I don't know if that really is going to make any difference. But since for some reason I don't have any access to Algeria anymore, like my troops just do not get supplies, I do not understand why. Because for the longest goddamn time, everything was okay. But now all of a sudden, they don't have any supplies at all. Can anybody tell me why? I, I don't... I don't fucking know. Fall back to Tunisia. Like, I'm guessing it's through here, but why can't I send it, like, through France down to here? I 
But I think like, this is my puppet state. Like, I don't understand, like, why it doesn't work. Might as well just send him back up to Italy. Because who gives a fuck, right? Okay, anyways. Damocles Project, let's get some better nukes. You guys have cut Italy in half here. Well, I mean, not really, because they still have the Austrian territory in this area. I guess the invasion of Germany didn't really work. How many men are in this province? It's still 10 divisions on the German border. Engines clear one left KMT. Do not care about that. I just don't really know. I mean, I have air superiority. But it's only a 4% boost, which is really not a lot. I'm putting all of my fuel on the Air Force. Copenhagen is still basically never going to fall. Finland might. They're looking weaker than normal. But hopefully once these guys land, they can actually get supplies again. Sorry, Algeria. I just don't know what the hell happened. That for some reason, I don't get supplies down here anymore. Maybe that's been happening for a while. I don't know. What's happening over here as well? I completely forgot about this front line. If you can just kill Brazil, like that would be nice. But you can't do anything until... You still have to finish your caucuses as well. Like, I still think we are years away from possibly having Russia intervene. Like, maybe 1944, 1945. Just like a long-ass time for now. It looks like we maybe have secured, like, a position up here. And maybe from this point, another naval invasion somewhere else might work. Like, they spent, sent, you know, spent so many troops over here, but... On the other hand, there's still so many... Like, is this still level 3, 4, or have they been upgrading these forts at all? It's level 4 now. I just don't know, like, legitimately what I can actually do in this in this situation. 200% research of electronics, 100 political power. Is there anything I can even do with this? Might as well get the war propaganda up. Now, recognize these governments in exile. Like, I think we're still fine on manpower. And I think these guys are now kind of... Condensed enough. How long will it take? October 13th? It won't take long to actually build some forts. I'm fine if we can just keep another front line here. And just hopefully Germany will not be able to break it. Because again, we have air superiority. It's only 4%. No, okay, no, it's actually a negative 30% penalty on their uh, breakthrough. So we should more or less be good here. Um, port strikes maybe would be a good idea as well. I'm just trying to think, like... I mean, we do need to probably blockade the British in some capacity. Delete all of your previous ones. Basically, I want you guys convoy rating here, here, and here. I don't know how much imports Germany is actually getting from this direction, though. 
Most of it probably comes from their little uh, puppet states and allies over in this direction. So no matter what, we're kind of just... I mean, Austria actually has almost like no manpower left. Italy has almost no manpower left. So maybe we are getting to the point where we can actually just kind of grind them down. Like, I do believe that is just how this is going to end. 210% bonus. Is there anywhere else? I could probably use that somewhere. You know what? Just get the very fast encryption. Get a very fast encryption. So what we need to do is that we need to win some decisive battle somewhere. Or just grind the enemy down over the course of forever. We are actually building some of these port, uh, forts though. Which is nice. It'll mean that these areas are going to be way more defensible in the future. In fact, just build like level 2s now. Crank those to the top of the list as well. And again, as long as we have this little pocket... That's a lot of German troops that are being distracted over here. In fact, uh, these planes, I'm going to have you hold. Hold position. Don't waste our fuel on these. All the fuel should be spent on North Germany and trying to keep the blockade going. We're spending 12,000 fuel. No, we're spending 13,000. We're gaining 9. Venezuela. Can I get more oil from you? Yeah, we're importing too much aluminum. Cut down on that a little bit. Let's get even more fuel from you. Okay, so we're at least gaining enough. Are we gaining more than we're losing? Yes, uh, but not by much. But we are gaining more, and I think uh, it's going to be worth it. So we're already researching you. We could go for better logistics companies. Let's get better ground support. I think that's going to be a good uh, first step. But I think it's also going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Now enjoy, call you thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.